All right, here's here's my parts cleaner. This video is going out to Mighty Spuds. It's my uncle. So what I have here is a keg with a hot water heater thermostat on the side and a heating element that I got from Home Depot. I believe it's an 1100 watt. I didn't want something that would pop my breaker because it does run off of uh, 110 and I wouldn't recommend powering this up when you have children around or really anybody for that matter because those wires are exposed and can zap you along with this ground could touch but hey I like living dangerously it does work and it's adjusted uh, but it does shut off and what I do is usually I, when I feel it getting hot once I know it's at the right temperature that I want it if you turn that screw back you'll hear it click and then I'll just advance it like eighth of a turn or barely a notch and leave it there and then that keeps the temp this is a, a keg with a little giant pump in the bottom of it so it has two plugs if I were to do this again or improve upon it I would uh, mount a junction box there seal make a cover for all that electrical and uh, make it so there's only one power plug along with a switch, a waterproof switch on the side to turn the whole unit on and off. Maybe two, one for the heating element, one for the pump. And at the end of the pump here, or the hose here, I just have my pump. It's a little giant pump. Could use a screen, looks like it's getting kind of clogged there. But this thing works great. Let's see. They're like $100 for this little giant. It's a really good pump. Uh, and man, it works. This thing works really well. So let's, all this is is a uh, concrete mixing tub that I got at Home Depot. I do have this sink over here that I'm going to... It's kind of messy. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this all on a cart and then have this on top of the keg. And then I want to make a hose, like maybe like one of those spritzers from the restaurant. But I do know that Amazon has a has a brush for the end of this hose, and it's similar to this brush. But then the fluid comes through the handle, and then the uh, fluid comes out at the brush head. Those are usually what the parts cleaners have. I mean, I guess you could use maybe a Harbor Freight parts cleaner and update it, but I had all this stuff. I had the pump. Uh, I think the only thing I bought here was the thermostat and the heating element was like 30 bucks total. The pump I already had. So in my case, I didn't see the point I'm buying a parts cleaner I can just make one. So all I gotta do is tur turn it on here. This is the power. This power plug here is for the heating element. Because I, I went and took a break, and the other cord powers up the pump. So I've only, I used this years ago. It's been sitting in my garage. We've moved, and I hadn't used, I haven't used it in years. Uh, water's kind of dirty. It's water, and what I use is the degreaser from a Harbor Freight, $10 or $12 for a gallon. Apparently you have to be 18 to buy this stuff. Wear gloves. It'll make your hands peel. Uh, but I cleaned this pan and it did an awesome job. And I also cleaned my transmission here. And I mean, okay, I recommend you use this only in a, a well ventilated area. I have vents in my garage, whirly bird on the roof. Doors are open. There's plenty of air flowing through here because you're gonna you're asking for trouble. Uh, that degreaser, I'm sure, is not good for you if you breathe in the fumes, especially when they're heated. Uh, that was an idea a mechanic, an old timer, had given me. So I would recommend you know being safe. You have a mask, wear a mask, just like anything else. And I don't know if you could hear that noise that was in the background a second ago but the coil or the heating element just shut off so it does work well uh, i've 
cleaned a lot of parts with it. Uh, you can use purple power, straight water. Hell, I mean, just water, heated water is the, the, the pointer here, along with the degreaser.